Hi there guys, James here from the Mad Tin Hatter again. Um, I'm doing something a bit different today. I'm practicing or trying out my conversion rules for 3mm uh, units into Team Yankee, which is um, actually built for 15mm flames of war stuff. So yeah, what I've done here is I've replicated a game that me and Steve played uh, a couple of well, a week or two ago um, whereby I've basically got the whole of Team Yankee which are these guys here um, two Abrams platoons of four a uh, Abrams command platoon some ITVs or M901 improved tow vehicles a uh, M113 mechanised infantry platoon and the way I've worked these in the three mil rules is that each base of or each platoon for the Americans is going to be two bases and we have here what the infantry actually looks like for three mil and just for scale there's a, a standard size dice so I've not based these up yet because uh, I want to try and get how infantry is working working properly before I do anything so as I said I'm using Team Yankee and that is literally Team Yankee because we can see here they have an organisation chart for Team Yankee so that's what I'm using. On the Russian side I've got what is probably a motor rifle battalion so I've got here a unit of T-72s that's a full company. I'm missing one tank for this I'm waiting on another order coming. Um, some BMP2 uh, scouts, uh, BMP1 uh, motorised rifle company which works out as five bases worth of infantry. The one marked RPG is actually, I'm calling that a command stand but that contains the, the company LMGs and any anti-air assets, basically the heavy weapons. Um, this one here is a BMP2 company, motor rifle company same thing with infantry for them and the little guys in the middle are the HQ for this unit. So uh, only other thing I'm doing differently at the moment, I can't find the measuring tapes, I'm using one of these range sticks. Each marking on this is actually an inch but it's marked for two inches so that's what I'm going to do just now just until I get my measuring tape then I'll probably use centimetres. And that's it for now, I'll come back later and let you know how I got on. Hi guys, just covering the deployment. So I've rearranged the battlefield a little bit to make it a bit bigger. And I rolled the dice to see who would deploy first and then basically I, I deployed as you normally would each side. So we've got down this side, uh, the T-72s going to use that wood as cover to try and get to this objective which is underneath that uh, platoon of M1s. I've got one motor rifle platoon uh, company with the BMP-2s covering this Russian objective. T7, uh, so M1's in the middle, um, American infantry and ITVs in the woods supported by the command M1's, there's an objective in that wood and in this wood there's an objective covered by the BMP1 motor rifle uh, unit and the recce. So Russian plan is basically secure this wood with their infantry, American plan is secure that wood with the infantry and potentially push with the armour depending on how things go. Secure that objective with their armour and uh, again maybe push on this objective here. Um, I have got about 100 points worth per side. Um, tank units, uh, these guys have got either 2 or 3 hits, I'm not decided yet. These guys have got 3 hits per stand. They get two lots of shooting, each stand per turn, but they basically shoot as if they're a single tank. The American tanks have got the same, and um, they've got four hits. So three hits, four hits, um, and we'll see how it goes. Hi guys, end of turn one. So... I found my measuring tape, thankfully, which has helped immensely because those little measures I'm using weren't big enough to do the whole table. Um, Russians moved up, dashed forward, dug in on the hill, uh, moved up through the wood, 
Um, the BMP2 recce moved up to the edge of the wood hoping to get some sneaky shots in but paid for it in the American turn. Americans tried to blitz um, the ITVs forward, I actually forgot to move them. Um, the infantry moved, did blitz forward, uh, but they've got nothing to shoot at so it didn't make any difference. The command unit moved forward and took a shot at the BMP2s but only managed to bail them or do a bail uh, on the unit. Um, the guys on the hill also took a shot at these guys and inflicted one casualty and one bail. So this unit is totally kind of bailed out at this point, but I've just left it with one counter. So it's down to two hits uh, and has uh, is bailed out currently. Over on the other side, the Abrams moved down off the hill, took their four shots at the leading uh, T-72 lot, hit with, three of them and uh, three past saves as it's over half range they get plus one on their armor so it was armor of front armor of 17 against ap of 20 um, and i rolled of fours and fives and sixes so all good on to the second turn end of turn two um playing really quickly um, I'm still getting my head around the rules a bit, so I'm having to check the rule book. But yeah, it's playing quite quickly. Infantry's not doing much. Um, these guys are still dug in. Infantry and in the, the far away wood basically just consolidated a bit. Um, that those bailed out um, vehicles are still in the way a bit, so I've not done anything about moving around them. BMPs stayed where they were in order to get long range missile shots against the M1s, but unfortunately didn't hit anything and then in the the counter fire from the M1s and the ITVs basically uh, inflicted four hits so took out a stand and inflicted one hit on one of the remaining units. Um, over here in the Russian turn that um, platoon of four um, M1s took a bit of a hammering, took two hits um, so they're down to half strength which means they only get one shot every turn or one firing every turn, they still shoot two dice but they, they can only do it once. The other platoon that was on the hill moved off in order to try and reinforce this flank. Um, they are not in range, I'll need to double check, I don't think they were in range, I think I measured it and, and that's why they haven't done anything. So T-72s here are still at full strength and still looking to be able to threaten this objective. A single casualty for the Ruskies, some BMP-1s and these BMP-2s moved up in order to um, threaten. Uh, they have to stay still for a turn before they can fire their missiles, but um, I figured it was worth putting pressure on both flanks. It seems like what the Russians would have done. So on to turn three. End of turn three. And what we have here is uh, uh, not much movement. Um, the BMP-2s stayed still in order to continue to fire, but the Americans, well, um, I don't think this unit could actually do anything. I don't think they, they hit anything. Uh, T-72s just kind of move forward slightly. Um, infantry stayed where they are. Infantry stayed where they are. The BMP-2 recce managed to un, uh, unbail, um, which proved a bit catastrophic for this unit of BM, uh, M1s, which was over here. They actually got hit in the flank. Um, their armour, their Cobinum armour, means that they count as having a side armour of 16, but that wasn't enough to stop them taking a, a loss from the 285s that this uh, unit fired at them. Um, over here, the um, M1s hit this unit again, took them down to 1. I'm going to just read the rules to see while they, whether they have to check morale or not to remain on, because they've now only got one hit point left. The IT... <coughs> oh, excuse me, the ITV um, fired at this unit here and managed to bail one of the stands. This unit here managed to unbail, I just left that there to remind me, um, and they just moved the hill back and using the hill to protect themselves from this uh, from this unit here. So that's turn three, on to turn four. Alright guys, um, turn four, and I think start of turn 5 is going to be a Soviet victory as they hold this objective at the start of their turn. So the Americans managed to destroy totally the recce base and our BMP-1 base. They put two hits on one of the lead T-72 bases and bailed it. 
but the rest of the T72 company is actually currently active. Um, BMP2s are moving behind the hill hidden just now. Abrams haven't taken any more damage than what they did. Um, this flank is basically untouched. BMP1s took a few other hits, uh, one hit on each base. Um, but this objective is secure. Uh, Americans just didn't have the forces in this flank to, to push for it. I think I possibly could have um, been a bit bolder there. Um, these guys, if they had stopped in that flank, could have held things up. But they were out in a limb and the woods really sheltered the Russian tanks from getting shot at on the approach. So, yeah, really quickly. Only thing is, I didn't get a chance to do anything about the infantry. But I think the infantry plays quite a small part in this game. They really just used them for holding the different objectives, um, which is fair enough. Uh, it would have involved a bit more of, of taking them. So... I'm going to keep plodding away at this. It seems to work. Uh, the turns are really quick. You're talking five, ten minutes aside. Um, I was rolling through these really, really quickly. I'm still picking up the rolls as I go. Um, but yeah, it plays really quickly. Like, much quicker than maybe a game of Flames of War would. Um, a, a, just a standard game of Flames of War would. Um, the, the mix of them being Team Yankee rolls and it being such kind of larger bases um, but yeah, Russian victory quite quickly um, so that's it, my little run through of how this works